Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here. And the other day I was making a journal for a specific purpose, and I'll show you that later or on, on another video. And it was a B6 size. So I ended up with all these paper strips left over. And my collection of scraps is already huge. So I decided I wanted to do something with some of these scraps. And I've got a few different types of paper here. Coffee dyed, this is a pretty parchment, cream colored stuff. I've got a bit of vellum here, a pale cream and some grid paper. So I thought I would have a go at making some faux washi tape or something like that. It doesn't have to be used as washi tape. Um, I could end up making belly bands with it or decorating envelopes or anything. I have no idea yet. But what I've done, I have used some washi tape to stick these down and we're going to do some decorating. So we'll raid the stash and we'll see what we can come up with. So the very first thing I decided I would do was go through some of my scrap bin collection and get some tiny little scraps. And what I want to do with these is I want to glue some of these down. That'll provide some texture and also some patterns for the background. So what I did, I've collected things, but they're all very neutral with just a little bit of color. Because I'm not making these for a particular journal, I want to keep them very neutral. That way they are great as backing pieces, layering pieces. And then if I want to use them for a specific journal, I can always add things on later on that are more specific to the theme. So I'm going to do some gluing and we're going to get that down onto here as layer number one. And I will be back when that's done. Okay, so all my little strips are down and I've washed my hands because I was covered in glue. And you'll see I've used all sorts of little things. I've got book page. I've got some little bit of, um, this was a background that I did for something else. And it's a tiny little scrap. I've even got a piece of ribbon. I found that in my stash. This is, um, I've got a few little bits from a printable that I had left over, um, magazine, you name it, bit of doily. It doesn't matter what you use, anything. But as you can see, I have kept it quite neutral. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to do some stenciling, I think might be a great next layer. Now I have this stencil here that does look a little bit worse for wear because obviously I forgot to wash it one day but that will not affect how it works in any way, so that's okay. Um, I don't know where I got this from, but I thought this was, again, a good sort of fun one to do this with because it's got numbers and, like, percentage signs and, and all sorts of fun things. And so we're going to do the next layer with Distress Ink. I've got brushed corduroy here. I thought that would be a good colour. It's um, a nice brown. It's not too dark because, again, I don't know what I want to do with this. And I am just going to very gently apply some colour. It's just very random. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. But, see, I thought this would be a great one. I don't want it too dark. I don't want it to sort of take over what's going on. We might do a few patches a little darker, but look, just have some fun. I think this is a great one to use because sort of numbers and letters and things like that can go with any sort of theme that you're working with. So we're just randomly going to cover this. A bit darker in patches, lighter in others, who cares? We're just adding layers, one after the other after the other, and we'll see what we end up with. I have no idea. I've never done anything quite like this before, but I thought it might be a fun experiment. And I must remember to actually go to the edge there a little bit too. But again, it doesn't really matter. Like there's no rules. It's just having fun, using what you have in your stash, 
I just chose this because I thought it might be fun, but you can use any pattern, any shape, who cares? It doesn't matter. You might want to make these for a particular theme, so you can pick a stencil that, you know, matches. But in this case, I'm just trying to keep them very basic and just add layers. So there we go, almost done. We'll just uh, have to let this dry for a bit. But you can see why I um, used the washi tape to hold these down. I thought this would just make it easier so that they don't move everywhere and you end up with them all over the place. There we go. Oh, I might put a tiny bit more up there because that's all a bit empty. And I think we will leave this layer just to dry for a couple of minutes and I'll be back with my next plan. Okay, so the next thing I thought I will do is some stamping. So the first one I've got is this script stamp. Again, don't know where I got it from. I've had it forever, but it's a very good, it, it, it doesn't, it's not, I don't think it's actual real words, which I like. So you get the look of script, but you don't actually have any words that mean anything. So again, perfect when you're just trying to do something um, neutral. I'm going to use my Ranger Archival Ink. This is my favorite black ink. And we're just going to, I don't want to, I want it very random. So that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to dot some on. I don't want a ton of it, but we'll just stamp some down. I might use the other side of it too and get some black on there. Oh, I mustn't forget to do these guys over here. They sort of get a bit forgotten about. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yep, I think that will do for the black. Then I have a couple of other stamps here that I thought might be fun. This is a little lace one. Again, I don't remember where I got all these things from. I'm sorry I'm not a lot of help to you there. But it came in a set. I think I bought it off a D-Stash. Now, for this, I've decided I will go for a different colour. This is a, one of the mementos. This is called Desert Sand. So, again, it's on the brown side. So I thought, why do it all black? We might add a few different colours in. Again, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them, try and go to where I've got blank spaces and have it go over the two, over two or three even pages. Now that did not stamp well. I better make sure I put a little bit more ink on. But again, thankfully for a, something like this, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I like using that brown. I think that looks good. We might do one on a bit of an angle because we're just building up a background and having fun doing that. And that way you can then use it to decorate whatever you like when you uh, decide what you actually want to use them for. So we're, hmm, I'll put one down in the middle there. And then we better put one over here somewhere. This is quite a soft color. Probably maybe not my best choice, but it doesn't matter. Again, it's just having fun and using things that I have in my stash. There we go. And then I have another one. I thought I might use this pretty, it's sort of a flower slash starburst slash I'm not sure what it is, but I thought that might be a good one. And this time, sorry, I'm going to be using another one. This is in the colour Cosmic Copper. So it's metallic and I just adore this colour. It's one of my favourite stamps. Now let's have a look. All right, we've got a bit of blank space up there. Gently plop one of those down. And we'll see, where else do we 
have room and need a bit of sparkly. There we go. Oh, there's a nice little gap there. Right, and then we have better put some over here as well. So I just thought, it, it, instead of just doing it all black, I don't mind this using the different colours up. Oops, a daisy, my washi's giving up there. There we go. Oh, and we're a bit blank up the top there. So, one more, and I think we're going to put it right up there. There we go. Done. Okay, that is the next round. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to do on top of all of this. Let's see what I can come up with. So I've let the stamping dry and I think we need some splatters. So I have some El Cheapo acrylic paint. I've got black and white, which I have mixed with water because it helps to splatter better. So I think we'll start with some white and just very gently add some splatters. I don't think I need hundreds upon thousands of them, but I love some splattering and I think it's just the perfect next layer for this. Go. Just try and make sure I have some on each one. There we go. And I'll just wipe this off quickly, just so that I don't add too much white to my black. And now we'll do some black ones. Okay, there we go. We've got a few bigger ones here, don't mind that at all. Oh, they do look good. Mm. Better not forget my guys on the side here, or they're going to feel lonely. So they, they get smaller and smaller as you run out of paint. So that's then a good time to pick areas where you have blanks. Even though, again, I don't need to fill every spot because when I then add other bits of ephemera, I can fill those spots. I think that is enough splatters. I'm very good at over splattering. I think that's perfect. So we are going to leave that there and let that dry. So I let these dry, but they're all finished and I'm really happy with how they turned out. And I will show you what I did with one of them. This is my botanical journal. I had an empty page here opposite this butterfly page. So decided we'll stick with the theme. Simple piece of craft cardstock. I tore the edges just to give it some contrast. I, I like contrast, just in case you haven't noticed. From the strip that I had made. And then I simply glued down those four little pieces and I have made myself a great little tuck spot it all sort of blends together I've got coffee dyed paper here and I grabbed a couple of journal cards that sort of lend itself to the botanical theme and I will pop those in there these things make decorating a page so quick all you have to do is glue and stick and you're done. So I think I need to make more of these. I will get out some more of my very generic style stencils. One thing I might do though, is when I do the stenciling and the stamping, I might do it on all sorts of odd angles. So, I mean, in this case, it doesn't matter that the, the, let, the numbers and things here are sort of on an angle, but I just realized I think I might even use them more in a vertical rather than a horizontal way. So if I just sort of do the stamping all willy nilly, that way you don't have to worry about doing some horizontally and some vertically. Um, Cause I think this one here works perfectly if it was going vertically, but if it was horizontal, I don't know if I want all my letters and things 
sideways. So that's what I'll do next time. That way it doesn't matter. It just frees you up to use them easily for whichever way they're going to sit. But I'm really happy with them. So if you have any questions, please pop them down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. And I think this is a great little crafty project to do if you are in a bit of a rut or you have a ton of scraps or it's a rainy day and you just want to do something creative. I absolutely love them. So glad I made them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, please stay safe and stay healthy. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did for paper crafting and paper planning videos. Bye for now.